Hi, Julie Jules Cruise Companion. I'm sitting here with an ocean view room on Carnival Luminosa, which is cabin 1289. Would I choose cabin 1289 again? And how much did it cost me? Stick around and find out. <music> I choose cabin 1289 again which is on the first deck midship yeah I would it's very stable there is a lot of white peaks out there at the moment and I am as stable as anything as if I was standing on land so it's a very well situated cabin I thought it might have been a little bit noisy with the uh, uh, deck 2 having the art auction the warehouse arcade and the casino above me but it's very quiet so how much did this three night cruise cost me I'm always looking out for a good cruise bargain and some of the cruise bargains that come through don't necessarily allow me to have a good um, really really good discounted price because traveling as a solo they always add that second person so when I go through and I examine whether it's a viable option for me if it gives me a single solo supplement of an extra person I don't book it so when this cruise came up I went through the motions went for a solo and it didn't add the second person so the cruise itself cost $138 for the cruise itself and then $115 for port fees and taxes so that was a total of $253 for the cruise itself because it was a late booking I couldn't get into Wilson's car parking so I couldn't get a discounted price Wilson's does allow some spaces to be available to just roll up on the day but I haven't yet been brave enough to do that so I went to look at Andrews Airport parking but for some reason it wouldn't allow me to go through and book because uh, large sections before my date of travel were completely booked out so it wouldn't allow me to move forward to book so I went over to the port side cruise parking webpage and I easily booked the three nights for $135 so there's been some changes to um, portside parking where you're actually parking yourself now there seems to be less people employed and they have expanded to the outside parking section to further down the back so that was fine I parked myself and they promptly drove me here when the little bus was full uh, it took 15 minutes or so so that was my $135 for par uh, portside parking so because I'm going to be on the cruise for three days and I want to stay connected I used I purchased the premium Wi-Fi package which for the three days was $76.50 is that worth it if you want to be connected you're just going to have to pay the price that's available I never travel without having any form of travel insurance and I have a pre-existing medical condition called pseudomyxoma peritoneum. Google that see how exciting that one is PMP but unfortunately on the 20 on the 30th of January of 2024 I had a stroke I had a TIA a trans ischemic attack which clearly um, was didn't leave me with any deficits uh, for a stroke but now I have to declare that when I am making a travel insurance application and they become pre-existing conditions so my additional fee for the pre-existing conditions was $66 and the total for the travel insurance was $202 so the three days with no pre-existing medical conditions clearly would have been about $140 but because I have those pre-existing medical conditions it was $202 so adding up all of those amounts the parking of $135 the Wi-Fi of $76 the um, insurance of 202 the total price of the cruise which was 253 it came to roughly 666 
dollars for a three nights on a cruise and I always then divide that by the number of nights so that would have made it um, $222 per night for accommodation, food and transport and entertainment which is really good. But one of the bonuses with being a previous customer and it depends on which deal that you're being offered this deal I had was $300 onboard credit per room. We've got to read the fine print. Sometimes it is up to $300 or up to an amount of onboard credit per person. Um, and if you were only a solo and it was up to, it may only have been $150. So it just depends on the type of deal that you are going for and sometimes I have been on deals where it is the set price but you have the casino um, drinks package so while you're playing on the slots you can have as many drinks as you like. So there's several different ways that you can get different forms of onboard credit or deals with being a previous customer. So getting back to my story today for this cruise, so the cruise cost me, as I say, approximately $666. So take off that onboard credit of $300 for the room. It was for the room. It wasn't per person. So that was really good. So this whole cruise then cost me $366. So dividing the $366 by the three nights gets you to an average of about um, $123 per night. So when you're looking at accommodation, food and entertainment, that is pretty reasonable. You will not get a hotel room on land for much cheaper than $100 per night, let alone $123 per night. But this is breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the snacks, some beverages that come, the really horrible lemonade and water and tea and coffee if you're into that kind of thing I don't drink tea or coffee so and the entertainment the shows the comedy the um, uh, trivia those type of things you have to pay extra for the casino in the bingo and for your drinks it's only three days I'm not going to be spending money on any of that so because I had that onboard credit of $300, how do I actually get access to that? Well, what I did was I utilized the onboard credit for the Wi-Fi, the, uh, the $76.50 for that. So what I did was I went to the casino. I put the remainder amount that I could onto my card which was 220 something dollars, 25 dollars. So what I actually did was I played the slots down 20 dollars and cashed out the remaining 200 dollars. And I will put a little photo of that 200 dollars with my little friend here for that uh, the lovely cabin boy made me this morning. So um, in, in theory, when you're crunching all the numbers, all the numbers look good. Am I taking home some cash in my pocket this week? Yeah, actually, I am. It's just one of those bonuses with cruising. It's not always going to work out that way. And the more you cruise, the more potential you have for getting bonuses. And that's just my experience at the moment. I don't always get good bonuses, but when I do, they're pretty impressive. This is Julie Jules, Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels. Mm -hmm.